Now for the Liberal Group, Mrs. Sofia Intveld, you have the floor. Well, I'm not sure what to say to Mr. Skripek because I, I don't have the illusion that we're going to change his minds. But maybe I would rather address the citizens of the European Union who should understand that the agenda of the so-called populist parties is not just about nationalism, anti-EU or national sovereignty. It's also very much about sexism and misogyny. It's against women's rights. So keep that in mind when you go to the ballot box and know what you vote for. Like the Trump administration who reinstated and expanded the gag rule and the Helms Amendment, which was, already, uh, which was still uh, in the background, it's very, very necessary that the European Union gives a strong response and I very much welcome the, the very positive attitude uh, of the European Commission. You have our support because the European Union must not only accept standards imposed by third countries, we must lead in the world. We must set the standards. We are the strongest uh, actor in, this, uh, in, in the world uh, and we have to make sure that we impose the standards and don't accept. And that's, that's why I very much welcome the She Decides uh, initiative. It sends a very, very strong signal to the Trump administration and women around the world. But we need to go further. So first of all, I would like to ask the European Commission about the 2015 letter about uh, women who are pregnant uh, as, as a result of rape in conflict. And you consider that that is covered by international humanitarian law. But now we need to make sure that these guidelines are actually uh, transmitted to the practitioners in the field so that people know that they have the backing. Women should know what their rights and their, their options are. So I would call on the Commission to do this proactively. Secondly, we need to fill the funding gap that was left by President Trump, but not only in response to him reinstating the gag rule, but it has to be structural. Again, if we want to lead, it has to be structural. And then finally, we're going to table uh, amendments to the budget this year in order to strengthen the, the funding. Now, I also expect those EU member states, I'm coming to a conclusion, Chair, those EU member states who have pledged funds to the She Decides initiative in the budget procedure are going to give support to amendments increasing the budget uh, for sexual and reproductive health and rights. And not only in situations of conflict, because, dear colleague Skripek, I firmly believe that women should decide on their own bodies always.